Leslie Mitchell reporting. At the corner of 5th Avenue and 34th Street in the center of New York shopping district stands the world's tallest building, 1,248 feet high, the Empire State Building. It's a gigantic place filled with offices and workers, almost a business city on its own. A building with express lifts and wonderful views that attract all visitors. This was the scene of the recent plane crash. It happened when workers were at their desks on a Saturday morning between 9 and 10 o'clock. Miles away, a Mitchell bomber had taken off from Bedford, Massachusetts. The pilot flying over La Guardia airfield was advised to land because of fog. But he headed for Newark instead along what he thought was this route. The route he actually took led him straight through the fog into the Empire State Building. crashed into the 78th and 79th stories at a speed of about 200 miles an hour. It smashed through seven walls. Blazing petrol set 11 stories of the building on fire. No one knew what had happened. The wildest rumors spread through New York. But firemen were on the job, and in very quick time, they had the fires out. Thirteen lives, in addition to those of the crew of three, were lost instantly. Many others received burns, injuries and shock. One body was found on a ledge seven stories down. The scene, in fact, both in the building and in the street, was reminiscent of an incident in a blitz. The death roll, tragic as it was, seemed miraculously small. One of the plane's props was found embedded in the wall. One of the lifts plunged down 80 floors. One of the Mitchell's engines crashed almost a thousand feet below. The other hurtled across the building and fell on the penthouse on the roof of a 12-story building in the next street. Other parts of the bomber crashed into the busy 34th Street, yet no one down there was injured. Here it also looked like an incident, but two days later the Empire State Building was open again. Business as usual, in fact. 